and learn how to drop service movie theaters by the time we're done with this video. Now, it's extremely simple and it's one of the first niches that I went into. This one isn't super, super high ticket, but it's awesome recurring income. Stay to the end, you're gonna get the ads, you're gonna get the SEO techniques to get free traffic and paid traffic, all of that. Okay, so just watch to the end. All right, so come on here and you put your logo on there if you wanna get one made. Uh, you can switch the color, background, whatever you wanna do, but I recommend you leave the irresistible offers alone, all right? So you're gonna see exactly how I set it up and I'm gonna show you exactly how to do the same. And it's pretty much hands off. You can have a VA come here every week and just switch the new movies out. That's literally all you have to do. So the irresistible offers I used on here is my traditional 10% off. All right, so 10% off all future movies. All right, uh, free refills forever. All right, the 300 restaurant voucher for movie night out. All right, so as we all know, if you've done any research on movie theaters, the theater does not make the money off of the tickets most of the time. They make the money off of the concession stand, the food, the food, the food. So the more people come in, the more money they make because you have a lot of gobble mouths. All right. So now with that being said, I'll point to the purchase button, movie family passes. All right. So these are no one offs. All right. We want to be able to make a profit and we want the movie theater, you know, owner to be able to make a profit as well. So I packaged it in family passes. OK. All right. So we have the option for them to uh, see the movie once, see the movie monthly, not the same movie, but like it's a monthly pass. There's like a gym pass like you go to the YMCA or 24 hour fitness or Bally's, whatever you have where you are at. And then we have the purchase an annual family pass. All right. So you discuss this with the theater in your area. You usually do it in small towns. You don't even have to be in your city. Just I'm going to show you how to find these guys and you're going to get the scripts and everything to email them. You don't have to cold call or anything like that. OK, so it's extremely simple because let me go over here and show you. Watch this. See what we're doing. We're like saving a lot of businesses. OK, uh, average. What was the thing I just how often the family goes? All right. Where did I find that one? At? Eh. Americans went to about five movies on average last year. All right. So I saw one that said like four movies. OK, so like four movies. Where is it at? Yeah, here it is. Average person goes to the movie theater around four times a year. So this is a dying industry because everything is digital now. But there's still that uh, percentage of families that like to get out of the house. All right. You got your computer and you got, you know, what I'm saying you got it set up to where you can just watch movies from torrent sites or Netflix and all of that. But it's the experience of getting out the house. You might want to go out to get something to eat dinner and, and, and all of that extra stuff. So it's, it's about the experience. So that's why movie theaters are still hanging on, even though we have instant access uh, to a lot of these movies on free like torrent sites. But anyway. All right. <laughs> Anyway, so as you can see, people don't really go to the movies that often. So this right here, what we're doing with the packages, with the pass, making it a movie pass, will get that owner a lot more money and it will push the people to come out more often, way more than four times a year. Why? Think about it. When you have like a, a, a fitness membership pass or whatever you want to call it, a fitness pass, you like if you didn't have that pass, you probably go to the gym once a month or once or never. But since you're paying monthly, you're like, you know what? I'm going to get everything I can get out of this damn pass right here. So you go to the gym more often. And that's another thing. They sell you the bottle of water there. They sell you the uh, the pre-workout. They sell you the post-workout. They, you know what I'm saying? Uh, the little, the weight gloves, the calisthenic gloves, the, you know what I'm saying? All different types of shirts and uh, weight vests and everything. So the whole goal is to get people in. That's why when you'll see, um, um, go to some theaters, they have the arcades in there and everything. The whole goal is to get you in. The ticket, the price of admission does not really matter. It's about getting you in. If they can break even on the tickets, that's awesome. But the uh, the food, the, the entertainment on the inside is what they care about for real. Same thing with theme parks, okay? So that's why they'll do these seasons passes and everything. It's nothing. They already paid the rent for the property. They don't care about that. It's about making the profit now, okay? So you have the irresistible offer right here because they can go in person, but why? when they're going to get this. OK, so now we got the irresistible offer. You can put the trailer on here if you want to, blah, 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 blah. All right. So now how do you get traffic to this? OK, how do you get traffic? So you got the partner theater because you you emailed them or reached out to them. I had a virtual assistant call them and you got them to partner with you. So how do you start getting traffic to it? Well, we always want to start with free traffic before we do anything paid. Paid traffic. Remember, paid is to scale up. 
you want to have an offensive and a defensive marketing strategy. It's offensive and defensive in, in sports and it's offensive and defensive in martial arts. OK, so it should be offensive and defensive in marketing. This is how you have a good game. This is how you don't fail. You always have some kind of backup. All right. So let's come over here and we're going to show you SEO. All right. So as you can see, movie theater, Las Vegas Strip. All right. So I always show you guys uh, niches that are obscure, uh, that have a lot of searches per month, but don't have a lot of competition. See, that's what I'm known for. And th that's how I'm able to help you guys out. So I'm going to show you some magical things right here that have you jump 10 times ahead of your competition if you have any competition. All right. So as you can see, it's a 590 searches per month. And, you know, you would look at this in your city, but we're just using Vegas for an example for today. OK, 590 searches per month for movie theater on a Vegas strip. Now, let's open it up and see how much competition it is. So this is Vegas. Remember, you would expect it to be a crap load of competition. Well, remember what I told you. Anytime you see this stroll bar long, that means there's only one page of competition. Usually in Vegas, anything you search will have like 10 to 20 different pages of competition you got to go through. So what does this mean for you? This means that even if you're an amateur and don't even use all the steps I teach you to rank your listing, you're still going to end up on the first page some damn where and you're going to immediately start getting traffic to here. Why? Because people price shop. So they're going to land on your page before they uh, make a decision. And a good thing about it is if you go to all the rest of these guys, they just have the ticket prices and that's it. You have the irresistible offer. So it doesn't matter if you're at the top or the bottom or whatever. Once they find your site, they're going to say, oh, snap, they got all this extra stuff and I can like get a monthly pass or an annual pass and go as many times as I freaking want. People like variety. That's why they go to buffets. So this consider this a movie buffet. How about that? All right. So even if you're not a movie person, you're going to start thinking about being a movie you're like, you know what? I can go anytime I want. Hmm. Let me start watching some commercials and see what I want to see. All right. So that's what people are going to do. All right. So this is a free way of getting your freaking traffic, your initial first traffic, uh, getting your uh your ticket sold and everything like that, your membership sold. So you're turning it from a, a one-time ticket thing because most people aren't going to get this. You turned it into a, a movie theater subscription and it's never been a thing before I mentioned it today. Told you, David is an innovator. Okay, so you turned a local movie theater into a movie subscription site. All right, and this is your site. You have ownership of it and you make the rules. You're not, they're not your client. They're not your boss or anything like that. Okay, so you, you make the prices. Uh, they tell you how much uh, a ticket is and you ask them how often Often people usually come, you know, what I'm saying they're going to tell you exactly what Google said, maybe four times a year. You'll see the same person unless they're just a movie buff. And you say, OK, you figure that into there, into the prices and you make the packages from there. It's extremely simple, easy. All right. So let's go. So like I said, this is a decent setup. You know what I'm saying? You come in here and do a little bit of work on it if you want to. The more simple you keep it, the easier to make a purchase, the better. All right, the better is going to convert. So now you have your one way that you're going to convert traffic. All you need is an address in the city that you're trying to rank in, unless you want to rank organically. All right, and I teach you guys how to get these damn part. You just make partnerships in the city with different entrepreneurs that are that are joint venture with you. It's extremely simple, man. Don't make things hard. All right, you can show up in here and start getting thousands of impressions. Now I'll show you what I mean by thousands, because you're like David. This only says. 590 searches per month. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not done though. I told you I'm awesome. And I'm going to show you some awesomeness so that you can inherit the awesome. Okay. All right. Let's go back. One of the most famous theaters in the world, AMC Theater, Las Vegas. If you search it by name, you see it has more searches than if somebody wanted to search movie theater in Las Vegas Strip. So they search it by name. Being that they search it by name, there's only two locations there. What does that mean for you? Instead of all those listings of competition you had to go through, if you can rank for their name, I mean, well, it ain't no if. <laughs> you make a listing with their name, you're automatically going to be number three, meaning you're automatically going to start getting your share of 2,400 searches per freaking month. Now, I know you're saying, David, isn't that illegal to brand yourself as someone else? Exactly. Yes, it is. You have to be extremely smart. But not extremely smart you just got to be crafty okay so this is what i do boom there you go as you can see you just put verses if you put verses versus my theater that's showing google that you're not trying to say that you're amc you see what i'm saying you say my theater david's flicks and there you go so now just off you using the keyword right here you see what i'm saying it's going to automatically rank you right there okay i mean it don't get no more simple than that. I'm, I'm sorry, guys. It just don't get no more simple than that. And you can literally do this in so many freaking cities. You scale it up so fast. OK, and then it's not the AMC aren't the only ones there. Look at Regal Cinemas. All right. 
2,900 searches per month. So when David tells you that this stuff works, I'm not lying to you guys. I told you before, I'm not some professional YouTuber. Do you see all of the awesome graphics or all of that? YouTube is becoming a little bit more fun for me, but that th this is not my day job. I own actual businesses, okay? So I come on here to show you guys things that work so you can go and do it. Not for your entertainment, so you can go and do it. So do this stuff, okay? <laughs> all right, look at this. No competition, none. All right, so you make yours Regal Cinemas Vegas versus my theater, David. Boom. So you got the keyword at the front of that mug. This is not a difficult keyword. Nobody's doing SEO here. So you don't really have to do anything like technical for real. You don't have to do any uh, hard SEO or spend any money to get some traffic with this. If you did spend money, only thing I would recommend is a press release, which you can get for like 45 bucks. And a press release will rank over all of these sites. Look at this. This is pitiful. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's six. And then a yelp. Six? They're ranking six spots. There's one company that lets you know that this is not competitive. A freaking um, press release will rank number one in that city, guarantee. Let's see the trash site. And I'm sorry, it sounds like I'm talking bad. I'm just trying to let them. When I get in my SEO mode, this is how I sound. All right, when I'm trying to show you guys how simple it is to rank somewhere. Look how long the load. Google doesn't like that. All right, so let's see what the content's like. <sighs> this is the content. No article on here. It's just a list of movies that are showing and up and coming movies. Meaning if you just like made a page on your site and put an article on there and name the page, um, what's the keyword? Regal Cinemas Las Vegas versus you. It will look like a review site. It will show up number one because you have better content. They haven't updated the page other than the movie part probably in, since the 90s. Okay, so here, here you go as a golden niche right here. Even if you just wanted to make an AdSense site right here, this will get you thousands and thousands of searches per month. Okay, so yo, you guys look, and if you want, when you're ready to scale, all right, make it work in one city. But when you're ready to scale, Google list of cities uh, by population, okay? And you stay in between, like, you know what I'm saying? Go over, make sure you go over uh, 20,000 and up. 20,000 searches and up, okay? I mean, 20,000 population and up. All right, this is a population right here, okay? And that's how you do it. Like, that's how you get a boatload of free traffic right there. Now, let's move over to the paid traffic. You can do the Google ads if you want to. Why? Because I don't see a damn person doing Google ads in a movie theater. I don't see nobody doing Google ads. So you, I mean, I know Google ads are usually expensive, but not in this niche. Now, let's get over here. Facebook ads. So what would you target? And remember, I said I'm going to give you the Facebook ads and everything that you can just plug and play. You can get them set up today. Start doing it today. Start getting conversions today. All righty. Well, you got to get your part there. after that today. <laughs> okay. So you know me, I love targeting events, life events. It makes it easier. It's a psychological trigger when somebody sees something that's relatable to them. So instead of me having to figure out all that extra uh, Facebook mastermind, um, legendary, you know, ninja targeting strategies, man, forget all of that. Keep it simple. Keep it um, like freaking self-explanatory, like, like Google Gaga language. Okay. So what did I do? I came here. I targeted, uh, I chose Las Vegas. Boom. That brought it down to like a million something. I kept the ages the same. All right. Now, I told you, I like to keep my ads evergreen where I don't have to really change nothing too much or anything like that. Okay. So we're targeting birthdays are based off months. It's only 12 months. So that means I would only have to switch this targeting 12 times a year, which my virtual assistant could do. All right. And you can even keep this part the same forever. So you just switch out the month and you switch out the creative based on what movie is showing. That's it. That's it. Okay. So now since we targeted movie theaters, people that are interested in movie theaters, see, don't get no more simple than this. Facebook tell you. And then whose birthday is coming up? Birthday in February. Extremely simple. It's the beginning of the month. And then towards the last week of February, that's when you will start targeting March. I mean, what else? What else I got to say, man? All right. So what would the ad say? All right. All right. So remember, it said that people only go like four times a year. Nah. We like to create habits. And when you give them extra free stuff, when they know that if they come back, they get like this goody, that goody, this goody, it becomes habit to where they it starts aching at them when they're sitting at home and don't have nothing to do. They're like, you know what? I'm just going to go. I'm just going to go ahead and go. OK, so let's see the ad. We're going to read it, but I'm going to send it to you. But we're going to read it here just so I can show you how it ties in. Your ad always wants to tie in to your target. Remember that. Your ad always wants to, the ad copy always wants to tie into the targeting. That's how you get them, okay? The formula is audience, timing, 
uniqueness, okay? So the audience is people that likes movies, okay? The timing is their birthday is about to come up. See, David practices what he preaches and the uniqueness is how I'm positioning it. It is not a one-off movie ticket. It is a movie subscription plus they get all the free goodies. See, I follow my own formula. All right, so Vegas, put the little slot machine right there. Vegas birthdays with birds of your gift. See this movie plus free refills forever. Uh, plus 10% off all future movies. So I always do the call out. That's my formula when I'm doing an ad. Okay. I do the call out with psychological triggers, things that will stop them in the news feed, things that are on their mind right now. Think about that. Things that are on their mind. If their birthday is coming up in February, that's what they're going to be talking about all freaking month until their birthday gets here. Who's going to give me this? If it's a woman, who's going to be my sugar daddy for this week? Blah, 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 blah. You know what I'm saying? But <laughs> I, if it's the homie, they're trying to get out. You know what I'm saying? So Vegas birthday is with birds of prey. So birds of prey is coming up and your gift. See this movie plus refi uh, refills forever. So I hit the irre uh, irresistible offer right after the call out just to keep their attention and make them read more. Then we do the call to action. See, I could just erase all of this and just keep the top three right here. You got the, the call out, okay, with the psychological triggers. Then you have the irresistible offer. Then you have the call to action, okay? So it says click send message and I'll send your tickets, $300 restaurant voucher for your B-Day plus discount on all future movies, boom. That's it. I mean, to tell you the truth, but we'll just keep it going. This is similar to a season's pass for Six Flags. So I'm just making them dream and think and be like, okay, well, I do actually get, you know, season's pass. I do pay for subscriptions, okay? Six, Six Flags, Disney World, or the Super Bowl, only better. All right, even if you've never been a movie person, all right, so I'm addressing an objection right there. A person like, why would I get a subscription? I'm not even a movie. I, I, I barely go to the movies. We know that, okay? But the extra free goodies are worth coming out to see this movie this weekend. Boom. Smashed them. Step one, because you want to put in the steps just so they're like, okay, if I click this, how long is the process, man? People are fidgety on social media. So step one, click send message below and type birds of prey. Why did I tell them to type that? You know, David, I love automation. It's going to have a chat bot connected to it. And that's going to be the tag that triggers the next sequence. Okay. So click send, uh, send message and type birds of prey. Step two, choose your movie for this weekend. Step three, accept the gift. I'm, hey, words hold a lot of weight. You guys, I mean, I, I strongly suggest people take behavioral and, and sexual psychology classes. That will help tremendously with your marketing skills when you're doing your ad copy. Trust me. Okay. Just saying, accept the gift versus buy your tickets or book this or come and get your <laughs> all right accept the gift of 10 percent off all future movies overdose on free refills you're just making it seem like an abundance you know what i'm saying they're getting they're just getting showered and pampered okay <laughs> overdose on free refills of your favorite drinks plus hit a nearby restaurant for a free dinner on us using our 300 dollars restaurant voucher so click send message and I'm, well, I, was, I meant to put I right there, but, and might even be able to get you a deal on a lit party bus for your V-Day to go viral on Instagram with, LOL. Talk to you inside messenger. Why did I say that? Because a lot of people feel like they have a fear if they click on an ad, it's going to take them away from their precious Facebook. Oh no. So it says talk to you inside message. Boom. So I literally cover all bases. This is ad perfection. Okay. This is ad perfection. And I'm going to just go ahead and give you all of this. Yeah, I'm not sure. All right. So I'm going to send this to you. If you are already in drop servicing, I'll send this to you as well. You just ask for it. Okay. All right. If you're new, I mean, hey, I strongly suggest you text drop service and set up to that number in the description under this video. You can get going. You can be profitable by this upcoming weekend. You get in here, you get the ball running. Hey, if you don't do nothing, you ain't going to make no money. Come on. Use your common sense. We all adults here. We should be. If you sit there and don't do anything, you're not going to make nothing no matter what opportunity you're looking at. OK, you should know that there's common sense. But this is the simplest thing you can make money with right here. You can literally drop service movies. OK, earlier I did a video on Netflix being one of the biggest drop services in the world. They're worth billions. This is your way of becoming a mini Netflix. You can drop service local theaters and you can scale up in multiple cities. I show you exactly how to scale up in multiple cities. So go ahead and get started. I urge you to get started. If you're new to the channel, we do stuff like this all the time. So you definitely don't want to miss a thing in my Aerosmith voice. So hit the notification.